Well, the road to middleweight Golden Glory still goes through Sydney, Australia. Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles and be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world's Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist. And since going up to 185, has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. The Reaper, Robert Whitaker, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, our fight. referee for this Great. one. Good. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. UFC went there for the first oh. Oh. Now it lands a vicious head strike. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Makhachev. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, he's getting it deep. Oh, looked pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, nice right hand. 
Champ, yep. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Making all these shots count. Now he's got good body position, yup. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the Godfather would be proud. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, big elbow. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Whitaker. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Uh, one set for the uh, end of uh, round one. Uh, uh. All right, take a seat, bud. Good round. We need more of that this round, okay? I want you to be a little more active with your punches on the ground. Let's not let the ref stand this up. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Makashev's strike attempt there is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. It's okay, keep Trading all okay. shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, big right hand from Robert Whitaker. Man, he just makes it look. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, right into Mount. <laughs> Whitaker's in half guard. Working out of the half guard here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. In the half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Akashev. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Makashev's back to the side control now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought 
to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game team. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, he's starting to land in the top position. Ooh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Good run. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left. UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth out. Sign the check, boss. These <laughs> two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment. And I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big Ready. enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round three of a possible five. Nice kick. Overhand left. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Good to see he has a, a great double leg. It's work. Whitaker getting worked over something fierce here by those hammer fists. Three minutes now to go in this one. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. All right, stay in there, buddy. Recompose. Use your footwork and let's get focused. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, that's getting in deep now. Oh, that's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Push off and 20 seconds to go. Oh, go triangle get. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really hey, caught stop. in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the top position. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that... That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. And Mitch is in a takedown. Why not? All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Islam Makhachev. Getting them out here. He's got to be careful here. Great job landing from the top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Doing good. It's okay. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, come on. That's got to be it. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. He used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Separate. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again. The attack. Secures, and on we go. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does... He can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Oh, how good is that jab by Islam Akasha? Let's get busy with the and that's, that's the danger. In the engagement there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. Another one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a tumble either. Big punch man for the middle. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way. That'll do it! There's Lama Kosh! 
Sheb with a huge win tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC Walter Wade champion of the world is love.